What's up, guys? I'm excited to show you guys this new glove that I got in. As you guys can see, it is a Wilson staff. You know, I never thought that I'd be reviewing a Wilson glove on my channel. But recently, a good friend of mine went over to Tokyo, Japan, where these are exclusive. And, you know, he, he hit up, I believe the store was called Basement. It's a pretty uh, famous store out there in Tokyo, Japan. And, uh, you know, he, he FaceTimed me and, um, you know, as soon as immediately when I saw it, I had to get it. So let's, let's look, go into that while I tell you guys a story, nice bag that comes in, obviously right here, Wilson staff. And then on the back, it says Wilson right there, but more importantly, let's jump into the glove itself. As you guys can see, beautiful, uh, bright red coloring, as you can see. Uh, with the Wilson label right there with hits of gold and royal, as you can see right there, a little bit clear. This one is a 11 and a half, which it doesn't tell you that at all. Pro stock leather, as you can see, we'll get into that in a second. And then on the palm, you have that famous Wilson staff. And then that Japan embossed print right there and then on this side you have real glove for infielders we'll get into that in a second and then dual technology so pretty simple doesn't really give you a model number or uh, size like typically rawlings does right here uh, but i believe i found that on the inside as you can see where is that somewhere i saw i saw some lettering there it is right there I see here that there is a HWW87H. So again, not used to having Wilson, so I'm not sure what that means, but I do know that it is 11 and a half inch iWeb, obviously right here, as you can see. No finger pad, but it does have that dual welting, as you can see right here, felt welting. Followed with the stitching in that vegas gold throughout the glove with the laces and i know uh rawlings calls it camel but um sorry for the out of focus i know wilson calls it blonde so the laces in blonde as you can see throughout the glove which is a nice touch uh there was a lot of options and typically you see when you see a, a wilson staff in this bright red you typically see them with black laces um so i didn't you know when i saw this one with the blonde laces i knew i had to get it because it was pretty uh i hardly saw them with the blonde laces and i never seen uh the wilson patch in this royal blue before so i had to that was what intrigued me as well as you can see inside the lining that bright red and of course you have that um the fur right there but yeah, real simple design, guys. Uh, the quality is impressive. Um, you know, I can't say that enough. Just having it for a couple of days now, you know, playing couch catch and warming up with it before my softball games. Um, you could just tell the craftsmanship of these, you know, Japan exclusives is bar none. Um, I, uh, into comparison to these and the A2000s and the A2Ks, um, I know that these have the same, as you can see here, the same pro stock leather as your A2000s and your A2Ks. But from what I read uh, researching these, they do use a diff that, that leather, as you can see there, but um, they use, I guess, a, a thinner, thinner layer, if that makes sense, what I've been reading. So that itself makes it just a different ball, you know, different feel. When it comes to the ball and glove and i've noticed that immediately um it almost like sticks to the baseball like i said it's hard to really explain you kind of have to get one of these uh on your own and, and figure see that but um yeah it is kind of being the 11 and a half it is kind of small for me you know being that i'm exclusively a softball player now um you know play co-ed and men's during the week don't really play baseball as much anymore and even if I did, I was mostly a second baseman, first baseman. So and this 11 and a half is kind of small. So, but I was just curious, you know, after the World Baseball Classic, 
um, you know, that really inspired me to to get a glove from Japan, you know, as, as they are the the reigning champs of it all. So, um, but yeah, I want to show you guys this glove. Uh, I'm not sure yet if I'm going to keep it. Uh, like I mentioned, because of the size, not having to do with at all with the glove. The glove is amazing. It's great. I wish I can keep it. You know, I wish it was a little bit bigger, like a, at least a 12 or a 12 and a half. Um, that'd be a size that I'd be more comfortable gaming in. Um, usually a shortstop or second baseman, third baseman, anywhere in the infield is usually where I play in my softball. So, so yeah, this glove is, I mean, I could probably game it when I play second base in men's, uh, but it is, you know, I'm a little bit more comfortable with the 12 inch or a glove or a, you know, 12 and a quarter, 12 and a half. So, um, let me know what you guys think. Um, but yeah, this one is a beautiful glove as you guys can clearly see. Uh, I forgot the double lace right there, the double X's. Let me know again also if you guys are interested. Um, this one was, I want to say, 58,000 yen, which translates to over 100, 450 USD. I actually have the receipt right here uh, from Basement, as you can see right there. It even has the date, like I mentioned a couple of weeks ago. Uh, and then there is tax, obviously. Um, so, um, like I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to sell it, but it would have to obviously be more for what I paid for um for the you know import and all that but yeah let me know what you guys think and comment and subscribe